We will evaluate the given inverse tangent function values using the reference triangles shown below, where each inverse tangent function value is equal to an angle on the open interval from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2, which means in standard position the angle will be from 0 to pi over 2 radians, not including pi over 2, or from 0 to negative pi over 2 radians, not including negative pi over 2. And since tangent theta is equal to y divided by x, notice tangent is positive in the first quadrant and negative in the fourth quadrant. We first have inverse tangent of negative 1, which again is equal to the angle in this interval that has a tangent function value of negative 1. If we ignore the negative for a moment and look at the reference triangles, notice how the tangent of 45 degrees, or pi over 4 radians, is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which gives us 1 divided by 1, which is positive 1. And since the tangent function value is positive 1, and we are looking for an angle that has a tangent function value of negative 1, 45 degrees, or pi over 4 radians, is not the angle we are looking for. But if we sketch a 45 degree, or pi over 4 radian reference angle in the fourth quadrant, where tangent is negative, we can find the angle in the interval that has a tangent function value of negative 1. So the next step is to sketch a 45 degree reference angle in the fourth quadrant, which means this will be the terminal side of the angle we are looking for, where the reference angle, this angle here, is 45 degrees, or pi divided by 4 radians. And now let's sketch the reference triangle. Because we are in the fourth quadrant where x is positive and y is negative, we label this leg positive 1, this leg negative 1, and the hypotenuse square root 2. Notice how this reference triangle does give a tangent function value of negative 1 divided by positive 1, which is negative 1. And then for the angle we are looking for in this interval has its initial side along the positive x-axis and the terminal side along this ray, the angle to be in the open interval from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2, we have to rotate clockwise, and therefore the angle is negative 45 degrees, or radians, negative pi over 4, or negative 1 fourth pi radians. Next we have inverse tangent of square root 3, which if it's helpful we can write as inverse tangent of square root 3 over 1. Looking at the reference triangles, notice the tangent of 60 degrees, or the tangent of pi over 3 radians, is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which is square root 3 divided by 1, or square root 3. And since the given tangent function value is also positive, the angle we are looking for is this angle of 60 degrees, or in radians, pi over 3, or 1 third pi radians. So if the given tangent function value is positive, we can just use the reference triangles, and we don't have to sketch the reference angle or reference triangle on the coordinate plane. But let's go ahead and show it anyway. We will sketch a reference angle of 60 degrees in the first quadrant, and therefore this is the terminal side, where again this reference angle is 60 degrees, or pi divided by 3 radians, and this would be the reference triangle. Because we are in the first quadrant, both legs are positive. There's positive 1, positive square root 3, and 2. Notice this reference triangle does give a tangent function value of square root 3 divided by 1, or square root 3, which means the angle we are looking for has its initial side along the positive x-axis, its terminal side here. Rotating counterclockwise, notice how the angle is the same as the reference angle of 60 degrees or in radians, one-third pi radians. Next, we have inverse tangent of negative square root 3 divided by 3. Because of the square root 3, we should be able to recognize we will be using the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle. But it can also be helpful to rationalize the numerator of the tangent function value. So let's do that. To rationalize the numerator of negative square root 3 divided by 3, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 3 which gives us negative 3 divided by 3 square root 3. And 3 divided by 3 simplifies to 1. And therefore, this is equal to negative 1 divided by square root 3. We can rewrite this as inverse tangent of negative 1 divided by square root 3. In this form, 
it'll be easier to recognize the angle we will use to evaluate this expression. Notice the tangent of 30 degrees, or the tangent of pi over 6 radians, is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which gives us positive 1 divided by square root 3, which means this is not the angle we are looking for because the given tangent function value is negative, but if we sketch a reference angle of 30 degrees or pi over 6 radians in the fourth quadrant, we can then find the angle that has a tangent function value of negative 1 divided by square root 3. So now we sketch a reference angle of pi over 6 radians or 30 degrees in the fourth quadrant, and therefore this is the terminal side of the angle we are looking for, where this reference angle is 30 degrees or pi divided by 6 radians. Let's sketch the reference triangle. We are in the fourth quadrant. The opposite leg is negative 1. The longer leg is square root of 3, and the hypotenuse is 2. Again, notice how this reference triangle does give a tangent function value of negative 1 divided by square root of 3. And therefore, the angle we are looking for has its initial side along the positive x-axis, the terminal side along this ray, rotating clockwise, the angle is negative 30 degrees, or in radians, negative pi over 6, or negative 1 sixth pi radians. The last example, we have inverse tangent of 0. We will not be able to evaluate this using one of the reference triangles. We will have to use our knowledge of the unit circle or our knowledge of the graph of the tangent function. Inverse tangent of zero is equal to the angle in this interval that has a tangent function value of zero. On the unit circle, tangent theta is equal to y divided by x. In this interval, the point on the unit circle where y divided by x is equal to zero is this point here, where the ordered pair is one comma zero. Notice y divided by x is zero divided by one, which is zero which means the initial side and terminal side are both along the positive x-axis, and therefore the angle is zero degrees or zero radians. Another way to evaluate this would be to take a look at the graph of the tangent function only over the open interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two and find the angle that gives a tangent function value of zero. And here's the graph of the tangent function over the open interval from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. Notice the tangent function value is 0 at this point here, where the angle is 0 degrees or 0 radians. I hope you found this helpful.